Hey, this is Mr. Aiden. This is Chemistry One Honors video, and we are doing titration laboratory simulations today. We're going in the laboratory. We're going to be doing three different labs. You're going to be finding the end point of that lab, and you're going to be finding the unknown concentration of three different things. And you're going to be putting those answers in MrAiden.com. Remember, you're going to be using M1V1 equals m 2 V2. So let's get to this is laboratory number one, lab number one. We have an unknown acid. That unknown acid, that's going to be the M1, what you're trying to figure out. Your V1 is 100 milliliters. Okay, so you have one side of your equation right now, M1V1. Your M2 is going to be your 10.0 molar. You know that concentration. Your V2 is whatever we're going to do in laboratory right now. Okay, so your V2 is going to be how much we're going to use of this 10.0 molar in your acid to get to your. Um, Endpoint. Okay, remember the endpoint is when the color changes, which means we need an indicator. We need phenol failing in there, and so we need one more piece of glassware. That is a burette. Okay, and so we're going to fill this burette up to 50 milliliters with my 10.0 molar of my sodium hydroxide. And so you can see I have my burette right here. I have my unknown acid, and I'm going to start my titration. I'm, I've already figured out kind of where my endpoint is, so I'm going to go somewhat quickly to that value. I'm going to put 15 milliliters in, so you can see the volume of my 10.0 molar sodium hydroxide went from 50 down to 35, which means I've used 15 milliliters. I'm going to put four more milliliters really quickly in, okay, and I'm going to put 0.5 half a milliliter in which means how much have we used? We've used 19.5 milliliters, okay? Which means now I'm going to go to realistic, which means I'm going to just put in kind of drop by drop, and I'm putting in like 0 0.05 milliliters each time, and bam, I hit my end point right there. You can see my 10.0 molar, I started at 50.0 milliliters, I started at 50.0 milliliters, and it has gone all the way down to 30.3 milliliters, which means you can find your change of volume of your 10 molar. I have hit my end point of my 100 milliliters of my unknown concentration, so your job is to find out the unknown concentration of your acid from your titration. Let's go to lab number two. This is lab number two. We're going to do a strong acid versus strong base. We're going to fill this burette with a base, okay? We're going to use hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide, what we normally use right here. And you can see it has gone all the way up, okay? And we're going to use phenolphthalein, phenolphthalein as my indicator. Now take a look down here. Down here I have, down in my little flask right here, I have a molarity of my acid is, make sure you write this down, 0.1645 molar, and I'm using 25 milliliters of it, okay? My base is the unknown concentration. The thing in the burette is the unknown concentration, and I'm going to figure out how much volume I'm going to use of this guy. So let's put, uh, let's put some volume in. Let's put 5.5 milliliters in. Put a little bit more in, okay? 8 milliliters. Ten point five. Fourteen point five. Ooh, did you see that color change? We're gonna now go kind of drop wise, okay? You can see it's getting closer and closer and closer to my my end point. <clears throat> this is exciting, exciting YouTube videos right now. Okay, it is breathtaking. It is, we're getting closer to my end point, so much closer to my end point. I am getting closer. Now, in college, what I used to do was, I used to do one quick dirty lab where I would get really close to the end point. So I could get, um, put in a lot of volume right off the bat, and then go drop by drop to that end point right there. When I worked in the pharmaceutical industry, I had a machine that did this for me, so I did. I basically pressed play and then went to my desk. So there you go. I am at my endpoint. How much base did I use? I used 19.42 milliliters. 19.42 milliliters right there. 
Okay, so you are going to try to figure out what was the concentration of this sodium hydroxide that we titrated with. So we had 0.1645 molar of 25 milliliters of my acid. My base, I used 19.42 milliliters. What's my concentration of my base? That was lab number two. Let's go to lab number three. Lab number three is we're not doing an endpoint lab, we're doing an equivalence point lab. You can see right here, I start off with one a pH of 1 of my acid. I have 35 milliliters of, I don't know what my acid is, that's what I'm trying to find. I'm going to titrate, drop, 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 drop of my 0.1 molar of my sodium hydroxide. You can see this is my titration curve. Hopefully you know where the equivalence point is, and hopefully you know at how much volume you use to get that to that equivalence point of your 0.1 molar. And so for lab number three, you're trying to figure out what is the concentration of your hydrochloric acid right there. So we have three labs. Lab number one was what was the concentration of my unknown acid using 10 molar sodium hydroxide. Lab number two, what was my concentration of my base that I used Okay, when I had this acid down here. And lab number three is an equivalence point lab. What's my concentration of my unknown acid? When you put your answers in MrRaden.com, make sure you round to the correct number of decimal places. I will tell you that on MrRaden.com. And I hope these labs have been fun. Drip, 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 drop. I'm going to drop the base. See you guys. Bye.